Newsflash! The company Perplexity launched an in-app Chrome browser plugin to search the web agentically. But there's kind of this thing going on right now, which is like web browser agents versus MCP agents. And we don't know who's gonna win. I have a feeling that MCP is gonna win out the day, ultimately uh, for businesses, and web browsers probably gonna end up owning the day when it comes to consumer, and we'll kind of get into it. So first and foremost, agents on web browsers are kind of terrible, to be honest. They're pretty bad. And they're at best, like, I don't know, your mom or dad on the internet, like elderly, like, oh, I don't know how to get there. It's like, no, 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 that's a phishing scam. Like, don't do that. That's kind of the vibe of browser agents. But they have the potential to be really, really, really robust. Because eventually, if they learn how to browse the web accordingly and they get good at it, they can do all sorts of stuff. Book a haircut, book services, get deliveries done, like, you know, order food, whatever it is, like, they can do that. And that's super important. And I think for most consumers, like, that's what they ultimately think of when they think of AI, is like people just doing stuff for me. Whereas MCP, which is like model context protocol, the thing that I talked about in different videos is more like, the back end server, like you tell a thing in a text window to do something, it goes a bunch of, does a bunch of stuff, you never see what it does. It comes back and like, hey, cool, I did all this. And the interface you have is like that chat window. And I think for business that actually works a lot better because no one wants to sit around and hover over his shoulder. Well, you know, the annoying manager might. But <laughs> outside of that, like no one actually wants to do that. They just want the thing done and someone to tell them, hey, I did it, you're all set to go. Here's the details. Let me know if you need any changes. Like, that's what you want. And so ultimately, like, I think that's going to win the day on the B2B side. And I think these web browsers, once they actually get decent, even though they're not really that today, are going to win on that side. Now, the kicker is going to be, as we get more advanced, is business operations, people who run sales and marketing and customer service and those types of things, are they going to just, like, not want to have technical people around. Like, is IT going to kind of disappear because you can do everything in browser? Probably not. I think if IT and engineering can build advanced models that you can just tell to go do something, like, no need for the browser. But if they can't, or they're too slow to do it and browsers catch up too fast, that's gonna start winning over the business. And so it's gonna be interesting to see that fight I'm very excited to see how these things like play out. But I know for now at least, MCP in the lead, number one, whereas the browsers are really far behind by catching up quickly. So we'll see who wins.